The release of the 1988 Cabinet Papers reveal a genuine attempt by Premier Ahern and his government to establish the year as a year of change for Queensland politics. The Ahern government took a significant number of decisions in 1988. In fact, 2,524 decisions were taken by the Ahern government that year. These, these Cabinet decisions give us almost like a time capsule, a statutory time capsule to go and have a look back at what we were doing 30 years ago. The 88 Cabinet Minutes show Premier Ahern took over uh, in extraordinarily difficult circumstances as the uh, Fitzgerald inquiry, as we know, was really in full swing. T Tony Fitzgerald came to me and he said, listen, this started out as a police inquiry. So he said, I want you to give me a broader frame of reference that this was probably one of the most important uh, decisions made in Queensland in recent times altogether. And it was something that was mine to do. No one else was going to do that. The, the huge change from the Bielke Peterson era to the Ahern and then later Goss era was that during the Bielke Peterson era, it was individuals making decisions that mattered. One of the, the biggest sea changes that came with the Ahern government was the idea that institutions and processes matter more than people. And so there would be institutions like a public accounts committee, like a public works committee. Uh, the parliament would be restored to an accountability function. Of course, looking back at lessons from the past serves as a reminder to us all. They're a reminder of how far we have come uh, in the past 30 years, uh, socially, uh, environmentally, politically, uh, technologically. In 88, the eyes of the world indeed were on Brisbane and Queensland for World Expo. It was an undoubted success, attracted about 15 million Australian and international visitors to the River City. And Southbank today remains an icon but Cabinet Decision number 53444 shows that its future was indeed uncertain in 1988. Throughout 1988, Dr Maranak's analysis shows that a great deal of Cabinet time and attention went to opposing the proposal that the Daintree become a World Heritage Site. In 1988, Queensland was also reminded of the environment's overwhelming strength as Cyclone Charlie ripped through the Burdekin region. And much like we've seen uh, in recent weeks, this came while the rest of the state was in drought. You look at how far we've come on, um, on policy in relation to LGBTI people and the fact that they couldn't even have a coherent HIV policy in 1988. So th there are some areas in which this is an entirely different world and there are other areas where it, it, it's almost like we're reading contemporary stuff not 30 years ago. So the Cabinet Minutes will be available uh, online at www.archives.qld.gov.au from the 1st of January uh, and here on site at Queensland State Archives at 435 Compton Road from Wednesday the 2nd of January.